This is the Walter IMKZ pinwheel calculator. On the back here it has the model and the serial number that says 10,890. Unfortunately that uh, serial number doesn't really help me very much because most of the websites um, state that the numbers for this model start at 20,000 so I don't know what that then means for this machine. Nevertheless I think it's an early one probably from the early 1930s, 1931 or so. The model type RMKZ, the R stands for Rechenmaschine, the which is a calculator. The M means that it has a larger input register than the standard, which had six digits. This one has ten. The K means that it has a display for the input at the top here. And the Z means that it can subtract. It has a subtraction switch here. And the uh, counter, uh, it has a carry mechanism that turns both ways. By the way, Walter is better known as an arms manufacturer and yeah, they made James Bond's favourite gun, the Walter PPK. So let me show you how it works. Let me first move the carriage all the way to the left. By moving these pins you can uh, change the uh, input number, or set the input number and if you then uh, turn the crank, you have to pull the handle out and turn the crank and that adds the number you've inputted onto the main register here. You can then change to a different number on the input and then turn the crank again and it gets added to the register. The counter it shows two because we've turned the handle two times. Subtraction is just as easy. Uh, instead of turning the crank forward, you turn it backwards. Oops. It's a bit stiff. And this number is now subtracted again from it here. And as you can see, the counter is now decreased instead of uh, increased. However, if you were to uh, switch this uh, subtraction switch to subtracting, instead of um, decreasing when you subtract it now increases. It increases to 3. So that's all fairly straightforward. You can clear the register by turning this small crank and clear the counter with the one on this side and the input can be cleared with this. You push this up and this bar moves all the pins to the top. The, uh, the crank angle, handle is quite interesting. Um, you have to pull this out and what that does, it releases a pin that uh, goes through here, which then locks the, uh, the input settings uh, so that they can't move while th while the uh, crank is turning. As you can see, I've now subtracted something from zero, and that caused this register to underflow to uh, all nines and uh, a bell sounded to warn you that it uh, underflowed. If I now uh, add it again, you get another ping of the bell, because now the register overflowed. And um, yeah, let's move on to uh, multiplication. If you uh, enter a number Multiplication is uh, nothing more than repeated addition, so you can uh, turn it four times to uh, multiply it by four. Unfortunately I see I've uh, 
still have the uh, uh, subtraction button set so it was decreasing the uh, counter but never mind that but um, so let's try this again so if you and get four times. You've uh, multiplied this by four, and the four is shown in the counter here. If I now uh, shift the uh, the carriage, you can do that with this uh, this lever here, and I can now crank it however many times I need for the second digit in the uh, multiplier, and. Uh, so on. If you uh, crank too far, you can simply go back and uh, let's do one more. So 1234 times 1234 is this number. The fact that you can uh, subtract is quite useful if you uh, need to uh, uh, multiply with uh, a number that has uh, digits of uh, 8 or 9. For example, uh, instead of multiplying uh, by uh, 9 times, we're cranking the handle 9 times, you can move one further, crank it once, and then use this other lever to, to go back again, and then subtract. That way you've multiplied or added this number at the top nine times in this position. So uh, you don't have to crank the handle nine times, you can just do it once for 10 and then subtract once for uh, to, to reach nine. And um, division is also interesting. Uh, let me just put in a, a large number. Actually, you, to input a large number, you don't actually have to do it like I just did. You, you can twiddle these no digits in the register itself. Whether that's quicker or not, it's, uh, I don't really think so, but you can do it that way. So suppose I want to divide this by uh, a small number, say 123. Basically you do long division. You start at the left. Oh, let me just clear this. So uh, let's start at the left. Unfortunately, this uh, number is a bit larger than uh, uh, don't fit, so the result won't fit. So uh, let me just uh, reduce this a little bit. Here we go. Subtract, so dividing this number here by 123. The first, uh, the first digits, it's uh, are larger than this, so you subtract it. Oh, and before I start, you have to switch it to subtraction so it actually counts how often you subtract it so let's subtract it once it still goes another time so now the digits we're working on have become smaller than this number than the divisor then you can move on to the next uh, next set of digits that's still smaller and here we go And uh, each time you subtract, however often you need to get this number to fall, drop below your divisor. There we go. So the result of our division is this, and the number here, 26, that's the remainder. There we go, that's the uh, Walter 
RMKZ. Thanks for watching.